Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ictric Studio, then I'm back with another Madden expansion pack, this one for the defensive line, both ends and tackles. Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ictric Studio, then I'm back with another Madden expansion pack, this one for the defensive line, both ends and tackles. Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ictric Studio, then I'm back with another Let's start things off with some fun ones. First up is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a 6 foot 5, 260 pound defensive tackle out of the University of Miami. Let's start things off with some fun ones. First up is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a 6 foot 5, 260 pound defensive tackle out of the University of Miami. Let's start things off with some fun ones. First up is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a 6 foot 5, 260 pound defensive tackle out of the University of Miami. Let's start things off with some fun ones. First up is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a 6 foot 5, 260 pound defensive tackle out of the University of Miami. Let's start things off with some fun ones. First up is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a 6 foot 5, 260 pound defensive tackle out of the University of Miami. Let's start things off with some fun ones. First up is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a 6 foot 5, 260 pound defensive tackle out of the University of he was on the football team from 1990 to 1994. Unfortunately, I could not find his statistics, but I do know an injury during his career led to the... He calculates in at a 48 overall with 62 speed, 79 acceleration, 70 strength, 68 tackling. Next up is another wrestler in Brock Lesnar. He is a 6 foot 2, 285 pound defensive tackle who studied at Minnesota. He did play football in high school, but he did not in college. After some years in the WWE, he did decide to try his chances at the NFL though. Though it was unsuccessful, he did play in the 2004 preseason for the Minnesota Vikings. He did play football in high school, but he did not in college. After some years, he calculates in at a 64 overall, with 65 speed, 73 acceleration. After him, we have our highest rated prospect in the expansion pack in DeMarcus Ware. He's a 6 foot 4. He was a 3 year starter at Troy, putting up good numbers, leading to a first round selection in the NFL draft by the Dallas Cowboys. He calculates in at an 83 overall with 79 strength, 80 acceleration, 81 strength. Rob Ninkovich, the Patriot legend, is our next player. He is a 6 foot 2, 260 pound left end hailing from Purdue. He spent his first two collegiate years in junior college, winning a national championship his freshman season before moving up. Then faced with another third, Field would find Williams, but he'd be short of the first. He calculates in at a 79 overall with 70 speed, 79 acceleration, 73 strength, our last prospect has the most probable route to return to the NFL, though it still isn't likely, as it is Greg Hardy. He's a six foot. He's had quite the turbulent career throughout, with good years and bad years throughout. Before legal trouble, he calculates in at an 80 overall, with 75 strength, 82 acceleration, 85 strength, 83 tackling. Virginia would not capitalize on the turnover, but would eventually put through a field goal, leaving just under a minute left in the game, as Fields would hit a man short of the first on second down. He'd then drop back and find a man over the middle to pick up the first. He'd then drop back again, this time looking deep, and he would chuck it long, connecting with his man to get inside the red zone. After a spike, Fields would take the snap and look to the end zone, but end up checking down to get inside the five, before calling their final timeout. They'd then take that opportunity to take one last shot at the end zone, but the path would be broken up. With one second remaining, Oklahoma State would put through this kick to head to overtime. Virginia would score a touchdown on their possession, and after a holding and three straight incompletions, Field would look deep on fourth down, but the pass would be off target, ending the game. Virginia wins this defensive slugfest, 10-3 in overtime, to win the Tangerine Bowl and leave Josh Fields disappointed in his final football game. Thank you all for watching this episode of What If? If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike, and please subscribe if you have not already. Also, if you have a What If situation you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Thanks again. Bye.